Morning everyone, welcome to the channel. Um, today's mission, uh, oh, well firstly I'm going to apologise for the lack of videos recently. Um, I've, had, I've had a lot on, I've been crippled with back pain um, for, for over a week now, but that's easing. Um, it's a lot of painkillers and um, uh, what is it, diazepam and stuff like that. So yeah, but that, that's on the mend, that's all good. But, so I've just been pottering about, so in this video I'm going to get, um, I was just looking at my hair now, well I'll do a haircut. Uh, I'm going to get this Exmoor trim carpet fitted um, to the front. I've done the back, I've done the back seats, I'm going to get the seats in, let me tilt this camera up a little bit. So you're not just uh, seeing me chest. There we go, that's better. Um, yeah, I've got the Exmoor trim seats and the carpets to go in the back. I've done the carpets uh, in the front, sorry, I've done the carpets in the back. Um, and I'll give you a look around that in a minute. I've also got a leather steering wheel. In fact, that cover's going to come off of there. Let me get a screwdriver. Let me get a screwdriver and pry that cover off. And I shall... Um, I didn't film it. Because stitching this on, it took me the best part of uh, probably two hours. Um, it's a really time consuming job. Um, and sewing is not one of my strongest points. I need to take the steering wheel off anyway. I always prefer to do the work inside with the steering wheel off. It just gets, gets in the way, they're so big. Um, not sure if this light's going to pick it up. Let me get you in a better light. Right, that's a bit better. Leather um, steering wheel. These, um, well, steering wheel cover, should I say. These, are, you stitch them on yourself. Um, they're available on eBay. There's loads of different loads of different sellers out there. They're all pretty much the same thing, really. But what a difference that makes to the feel of the, uh, the interior. Um, I've put that on so you can see it there. It just feels a lot classier. Um, I mean, obviously, it's an old series Land Rover. It's never going to be the height of luxury or anything like that. But we live in a modern day, uh, modern age where you don't have to live with poverty spec. You can upgrade it a bit. And, and it's simple touches like that. 20 pound, it's, to me it was worth every penny. The, the back ache it caused sat there stitching it with. Honestly, I nearly gave up, but, but I'm useless at these things, so. Uh, well, not entirely useless, obviously, but not very good. And it looks great. Um, the door cards. I've, I've done. I've still got a door card to do on that side. I've done that. That's all trimmed to match the dashboard. Um, in fact, let me get you off this stand. Let me do this. Oh, anybody who's, who follows me on Instagram and seen the pictures already um, needs a wipe. It's got a few dirty handprints on there. The door cards in. Um, that's pretty much homemade um, with the pocket and everything. I'll, uh, I'll do a brief description on that. The top's done for that side. They've got templates down there for them. So today's mission is to get this carpet kit in here. Um, it's a really comprehensive kit. There's, there's a lot of bits. The, the one thing you will need though is a sharp knife and uh, something to mark the carpet with because it, the, there isn't a cutout for the handbrake, uh, which could be a bit of a problem. Uh, but if you're trying to figure out, get it right, you don't want to mess around. So you're going to have to take that ring off there. Um, and pr I'd probably just take the cover off as well, the rubber cover, and just to get it out of the way so you can cut that hole right. I'll take the seat runners off. Um, and that's it, really. I think that's all you need to take off. And that ring round there, from what I can gather, stays there because obviously you want that rubber sealing. Um, you don't want your carpet sealing it, so yeah. Right, let's have a walk around the back. There's not a lot of room here. Let me open this door up. Hold on. Right. That's a bit better. These are paddocks. 
six or um I couldn't get within a decent time frame I could not get the um X more trim ones, but there isn't that much difference in them. Seat belts, retractable seat belts are in. Uh, that's the X more trim front seats. You can see there's a slight quality, uh, slight difference in colour. Um, the paddocks ones are darker, slightly darker, but. I don't think uh, that's going to be a major issue. It's actually, I'm looking on the camera now, it's actually, it doesn't look as bad as it looks on the camera. There's very little difference in there, but I'm looking on the camera and that looks a lot different. But it's not, uh, they obviously, I've got to say, the quality of these is actually really quite good. I'm really happy with the quality of these seats. So the x trim carpet, um, that's lovely, that's ace. Um, I'm more than happy, you see the, the, the tag there, more than happy with the quality of that. Uh, more than happy with the quality of it and fit of everything, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, so that's that. What I'll do is um, I'll get these doors open in a bit and give you a proper look. Or you can go on my Instagram, um, it's CSM Retro Restorations, and there's some proper photos on there, so you can actually have a, have a look. And what a difference it makes. It's going to make it a lot quieter, a lot more comfortable. It's going to, like, in winter and stuff, it should be a bit warmer. So, yeah, it's well worth it. Especially if you live in colder climates. The carpets and that can make all the difference. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go around, I'm going to buzz these out. Take the runners off, this side at least anyway, while I do this side first. And, uh, and yeah, we'll get on, get on with that. Shut that door. Let's move that steering wheel out of the way. I love that steering wheel. I love that steering wheel. That's ace. Uh, and you can see the quality of these. I'm not sure what. I think that's just a chalk mark when they've chalked up to put the um, the pads on there. This is. Let's move these out of the way. This is the front bit. This bit goes um, across the front of the seat box and the handbrake pokes through around there somewhere and there's obviously there's you've got three holes there there for the seat bases um to bolt through but there's nothing there for the handbrake so that's gonna have to be cut out or is there oh no there is oh there is you can see it just there look ah oh that's handy that's very handy ah so there is a cutout look for the handbrake lovely stuff Right, so I'll get that ready. I'll get that ready in there and we'll crack on. Uh, first job I've done is I've gone round and I've cut out um, the holes. Uh, let's see if you can see on there. You can see there, yeah. The holes for um, where the seat runners bolt down and the handbrake. Yeah, I'm quite glad that was there. That, was, that makes me a hell of a lot easier. And what you need to, it's, it's, it's easy to look at these things and, and get a bit get a bit confused and um, a bit nervous really about fitting them. Uh, but what you need to look for is is points that 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 can't be moved. They they are starting points, um, like the holes for the for the seat runners and the handbrake. And the holes back there as well. You find them points um, that can't be moved. They've got to go where they are, and you start from them. Because once that's in place, now you've got that there. What I'll do is I'll quickly bolt this seat runner down in a minute. Um, and that there, the carpet's fixed in its place. That's where it needs to be. So all you've got to do then is mount round the sides of it where it all goes. So uh, let me, uh, what I'll quickly do is I'll quickly just bolt these seat runs in and we'll come back and see where we've got to. It's, I would film the whole process but it turned into a really long boring video. Room's a bit tight in there so it'd be crap filming anyway. But all I'm going to do is just fasten the seat runs down. So that was, that was a, that was, well it was a bogger I'll be honest with you. That was a pain in the arse. Um, 
trying to get your arms underneath to put these bolts in it took bloody ages and what you get with the kit uh, I, don't, I don't think I mentioned this earlier is this double sided tape it's not the strongest tape in the world but it does the job um, and what I should have done is taped the side of the seat box before I put the carpet on because now I've got to try and get under there to do that but what I'll do it's not bad tape this it's it's not the strongest stuff in the world um, see if I can get two bits under there see if I can get up there a bit more about the front seems alright the front looks, doesn't look like it's going to need any tape on it but this back no, this side should I say sorry uh, does I haven't put any tape on the top Oh, come on you bugger, peel off. Because the seat runners hold it down anyway. Oh, I had it then. Oh, if I had fingernails it'd help. Oh, there's one. Press it down there, let that uh, sit there for a for now the front seems all right I don't think I'm gonna bother putting any on the front I'll see how it's um but it's, it's hard to get in there anyway might have to put a bit on this top edge there um, or a bit of spray glue or something stronger or or something on there anyway to hold that down or there are two screws yeah there's a thing right bear with me a second we'll do this and see whether this will work there's two screws that hold the plate down um, that covers the tank. And I've, I've put in quite big screws with a big head on. So. Let's see if this is going to work. hold that down nicely I've put the retaining ring back on for the handbrake uh, debating whether to take the blanking plate off the other side and put that on top as well because that'll help hold it down but um, yeah that side bearing barring a little bit of fettling about that side is is uh, is pretty much in um, there's a seat runner where is the seat runner? That's a very good question. That is a very good question. Well, I'll find the seat runner and put that on anyway. I only took it out this morning. It's disappeared. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not complicated. Nothing's complicated. Some bits are a little bit tricky, a bit awkward to get your hands in obviously to do the bolts and things like that but uh, what would be a good idea is to put some sort of captive nut in there um, but uh, yeah that's oops it's looking good so far so Cut all the little holes out ready. Um, and I'm going to line it up for the seat runners to go on, um, which is a fairly straightforward job. Uh, I've cut the hole out there for the uh, to put that plate over. I want to put this. Not essential. You can just leave it on and uh, and go. Uh, go over the top of this but I, I want it there on that little accent there I think little touches like that that I like so let's um, let's see about getting this seat cover on 
uh, seat cover on, carpet on, and the seat runners on. Which is a fairly straightforward job, to be honest. Um, this has got three seats in the. This will have three seats in the front. Sorry, I think I pressed the button. I've got a little clicker in my pocket. I keep pressing the buttons on it. Uh, so we'll line. Line them holes up, and I'll go and get me. Uh, um, Tub of washers, one minute. Right, cut this out. I wouldn't call this a fitting guide or anything like that because I look, I've never fitted the Exmoor trim carpets before, so this is a first for me, really. Just cut that flap out there so I can get under it. Uh, And we'll start bolting things down. That's, like I've said, there is nothing overly complicated about doing this job. Fiddly, a bit awkward, yeah, but nothing complicated. You notice I haven't got a seat box in here, uh, uh, an underbox, um, under seat box, should I say, in here. But it never had one when I got it. Um, I assume it probably would have come out of the factory with one, but. Uh, I might still fit one yet, I, I just haven't decided to be honest. Just haven't decided. Alright, so that's the next seat runner. Get in the hole. Yeah, it might turn into quite a long video, this one, long-winded video, but uh, now I want to get as much detail in as I can. The way I see it, the more I do here, the more I uh, show you, the easier it is for you guys. I had a look and there was a couple of fitting things with defenders and stuff, um, which is uh, oh yeah, it's very, very similar setup, but there are subtle differences, so... I'd do a video on it. Why not? I haven't done a video in a week or two, so. Right. right it's these boring bits here that, that take time with the videos. Thing is, I'm not one for editing, or editing videos or anything like that, so you, what you see is what you get, really. You have to edit it yourself and just skip and fast forward. Get on there, you little sod. Right. So that's that there. So now... around and double check everything's tightened up before I uh, sit anybody in it don't worry right next so these these are uh, probably datum points is probably one of the words to use because these are fixed points you can't um, you can't really go wrong. It's got to go there. So everything else should theoretically line up. But uh, we'll see how that works out. I dropped my nuts. My nuts is dropped. If anybody's, um, I don't highly recommend getting a carpet kit in your Land Rover, unless you're a serious off-roader. Um, 
and obviously you're filling up with water all the time and mud and stuff like that then fair dues leave it bare there's no point in wasting your money if you uh, if you're more of an occasional person or or you just want a Land Rover because you like Land Rovers you're not really bothered about taking it off road I mean the money that this is going to be worth I suppose you're not really going to be keen on taking it too far off road anyway but uh, it is going to be a bit of a show pony this one But the 109 Kermit, the 109 outside, that will not be, that's getting built to be used. I'm going to use that one myself for a while. Oh, stop being in the head. Right, give me a washer gone. Yeah, I'm going to use Kermit myself for a while once that's done. Um, I was hoping to have already started on that, but just haven't had time. Right. This bit of carpet has to slide under this runner. Um, the runner holds it in place. You probably can't see on the video there because like I've said previously, I'm not very good at making videos, but I'm sure you'll get the gist of what I'm saying. So make sure that's tucked under where you want it to be before you tighten this runner down. I will do a bit of a walk around after it and show you what I mean. Right. Right, that's that there. So what I'm going to do now is go round. You can flip that up, put some of that tape on. Let me stop you there a minute. If it's going to work. Right, you can use spray glue, spray spray glue, spray glue or whatever you like round here, really. But I'm going to um, just use this double-sided tape and put plenty on there. down the sides I would put the camera around this side so you can see a bit better but uh, there's not enough room so you're gonna have to stay there and use your imagination probably won't be the best video I've ever made but I'm sure you get the idea right I'm pretty happy with where everything's landed ish with the exception there is a bit of a gap there for whatever reason but I can look into that a little bit later on right I try not to headbutt that anymore and I'll peel this off The noise there when dropping that it's, it's unreal that all going to vibrate through that's another reason for um i had messages about um when i did the put the floor pans in i put the foam seal around the uh, the double-sided foam strips around the around all the floor pans and everything and uh, the main reason for that was not so much to stop water and stuff getting in because it'll find a way in anyway, the door seals and all these three things don't seal up very well at all, up through the seat box or anything. It was more to stop the, the panels vibrating together when you've got metal on metal and it's moving and stuff like that, so it just quietens it down a little bit. You're going to get water in regardless of these old things, so... Right, let's try and fold that back down. Like so. I'll put 
Put a bit of tape under there as well. You might prefer using spray gun, that's not a problem. Use whatever you want. Whatever you prefer to stick the carpet down. It's your carpet. This kit comes with this, so I thought I'd give it a go. And There are a couple of bits I've spotted that on the back that might need spray gluing. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Right, that's down. That's that there. That's that there. What I'm going to do briefly. See, how's that going to go on there? What I probably should have done is put this on first. Hmm. Now I need to figure that one out without taking everything off. Could. Yeah, I didn't think that one through too well. What a bugger. What a bugger. Right, I'll have a little think about that. I've got some more some more of that somewhere, so um, yeah, I'll have a little think about that. And uh, screw a plate down on there. Right, next thing I'm gonna do is just pop this back on. But what I'm going to do first is uh, glue a piece of rubber over the top of it. I've got a piece of um, old inner tube. I'm going to put that over the top of it, then put that on. I'm going to put that underneath the carpet over the hole, then put that on, just to stop the water coming up and getting onto the carpet. So, I'll do that and I'll come back to you in a minute. Right, I've figured this out, how this goes in now. You have to get it in like that. I haven't modified it in any way and slide it under the carpet there, like that, and then it goes over the top. And then you use your standard latch just to fasten it down. But what I'm gonna do, um, before I fasten this in permanently, is um, paint this black so it doesn't stand out as much. Uh, and then I've got to just put the latch back on there. And uh, yeah, jobs are, jobs are good and really. You could, you could mess around, you could trim the carpet, you could take that off if you just wanted to leave it permanently, but yeah, well, uh, I think that'll do the job nicely. Right, I still haven't fastened that on there yet. Right, I'll do that now. Right, see if I can get this bit on there now. I assume this is the next bit of the puzzle anyway. Um, yeah, that's got a tuck up there, hasn't it? It's got to. It's quite snug. I always try and test fit the pieces first. Yeah, it's going to be quite quite nice. That right. So let's pull that off. Tape it up. Oh. Anything done in the interiors isn't always the easiest when you're bloody six foot odd. And you've got to fold yourself up to get into uh, any positions. Let's put one up there as well, shall we? Right. I think. I think what I'll do is I'll just peel these bottom two off first. Sure it's actually stuck. And then uh, we'll uh, Stick that on there like that. Give that a go. Come on. Oh. Go on, Bennett. 
Who thought fitting carpets would be so bloody exhausting? Around the corner there. Around the corner there. There. Right. What I might do, there's a bit of tension on that. I just tried holding it around. Quite a bit of tension on that. I might just spray glue them corners around. Right, I've put a bit of spray glue on, left it for a couple of minutes. It's gone on fine. Right. Lovely stuff. Uh, spray grub that you used is just the Everbuild uh, instant contact adhesive. I've used it numerous times before and never had any faults with it, so that's that. Next, while we're on this side, I think it's going to be that bit. Let me go and get the other bit for in there. Let's have a look at this, shall we? These carpets are, these these parts of the carpets, should I say, are handed, so it's just a question of finding which way round fits the best, I think. And I, as I guess, it's going to go that way, like that. I'm not even sure if you can see. That'll go on there like so. Right. Let's see whether this or what I'm thinking now is actually this bit should have been fitted before this bit. See if that carpet, see if that glue's gonna just let go of that. Ooh, just enough. So I can now tuck that carpet up behind there. So that'll go on there like that. Then that carpet can go back and that carpet will hold back in some sort of position. that'll go on there oh. and then that that way around will go on there so what I'll do first if I can get up is we'll have some spray glue on there obviously it goes without saying be careful, fumes. I'm going to spray these and give it a couple of minutes. Right. Let's see if we can get this up in there. Come on, you awkward bugger. All of a sudden today, this glue's gone extra sticky. That's it, you can go up in there. And that goes up in there like that, lovely stuff. Oh, I'm say that.
and push it right down into the corners. Oh. You get any spray glue on the carpet, it does come off. Oh. Right. I'm reasonably happy at that so far. I'll get a bit of glue sprayed up on there, and uh, then we'll come back for the next mat. Right, next bit is this. Uh, you should get a couple of tie wraps in your kit. Um, you need to turn that inside out and slide that down. One thing I have done, I've misplaced, is the um, little spring that goes on the um, lever there. Uh, I've put it in an extremely safe place somewhere, as, as you do, and can't find it. So I'll try and do this so you guys can see. Get your tie wrap. Put it on inside out. If, if I put it so you can see, I can't see. Right, just give us a second. So, around there like so. Tighten that up. Just double check before I tr trim that off that it's going to fit on all right. And that goes around there like that simples in theory oh, just like that so as a rule when it comes to carpet fitting carpet on any vehicle really if it's got edging on it like that that means it goes on top if it hasn't like that then it means it goes underneath because that's the bit that you're going to see so uh, I think with how tight this is around there this is going to need some spray glue on there rather than the double sided tape I have to say the double sided tape is a bit inadequate for the job but I mean it's, it, it'll work you probably have to use twice as much as what they give you but uh, yeah, so what I'll do is I'll pull that up, I'll spray some glue on again, and uh, oh, go from there. Right, I've just sprayed that on, I'm going to get this around here. I've got a bit of overspray from the glue, but I'm not going to worry about it. And I'm putting this on a little bit soon. I'm, I've not left the glue to tack off or anything like that, because I just want that little bit, if I can, of manoeuvrability to pull that round like that and to generally try and get this into place which is proving a little bit awkward <sighs> right. like so Bit of a gap there I'm not sure why that is but there's the same gap on the other side so I assume that's more or less how it's supposed to be that's up some pulling that did that really took some pulling right next thing's just the overmats I'll move that out of the way oh <laughs> dear What I will say before this goes in is that um, there is a definite order for the way of fitting things. Um, so your seat box goes first. Get your seat box in there. Then this bit. I did it the other way around. I fitted that bit and then this bit. But I'd put that bit in. Um, you have to cut out for the pedals. You have to cut a slot there and I had to cut a little slot there to thread it behind the bar for the throttle pedal. 
um, you need to cut out for the spring to come through for the brake pedal and um, the clutch pedal sorry and um, what I've done is I've only just held that up with a little bit of sticky tape because I'll take that back out I haven't bled the clutch or the brakes yet so what I don't want to do is go to bleed the brakes fill the fluid they've never had fluid in before so I don't want to put fluid in for it to leak and it'll leak out of here onto the new carpet so when I come to, to topping the fluids up I'll take that bit of carpet out and this mat out um, you see it's left a bit of a gap there oh there we go this my, my missus will get this little bit of overspray off she's an expert in cleaning um, right and now this over mat let me put you back on the stand or oh, this over mat this floor mat should I say this floor carpet get in there oh, it's really go quite an overcast day today compared to what it has been it's awesome but it's still really warm so that sorts up there like that and around like that you don't really get any simpler than that and that's it that's that job done same on the other side and then we can get the seats in lovely stuff right and just like that full interior in headlining's in I've still got the little light to put up there I've got the original light that came with it I saw the original headlining all um, all good all these pads are original just retrimmed um, across there with the sun visors and all down the side and I am absolutely stunned at how gorgeous that is gorgeous is not a word I use often I can tell you that uh, oh, that door handle's a bit stiff but just wow let me bring this light around see if that makes any difference I don't think that I honestly do not think the camera is doing that justice at all I've still got the door card to make there but that'll basically be a mirror image of that one just wow I've never seen a series 3 with an interior like it I've still got to clean up the the um, clocks and everything as well that's not been done I kind of wish I'd done it now save me a lot of messing around you know just little bits like, like these levers here that have they need cleaning up but apart from that I'm stunned that is awesome right I'll be truthful with you I am shocked at that I'm shocked at how nice that is in there um, the video the video probably has gone on for a bit longer than I anticipated but I want to get detail in there that's the first time I've ever fitted one of them um, the ex trim carpets in here I have fitted carpets in Land Rovers before but but not specifically this one um, and oh, just wow like I says the order you can't see it's that dark in here now you can't really see, see if it'll there you go it'll lighten itself up a bit seat box first bit to do is the seat box I've still got this the um, seat bar anchor points to go in there then up in the top here see if I get my fat gut out of the way let's go this side up in the top here then that bit then the sides and the front of the um, well the middle of the bulkhead should I say then the tunnel the gearbox tunnel and then the mats and you can't really go far wrong with that uh, the, the, the double-sided tape is a bit is a bit naff um, the spray glue works treat in fact it's, that's, it works a lot stronger than I thought it would do to be honest um, the Exmoor trim seats they're amazing I love these seats you can feel a quality difference between um, brick part seats and the Exmoor trim ones. They just feel that little bit more and look that little bit better quality. Um, things like the, the stitching is a bit better and it's a bit tidier and stuff like that. But don't get me wrong, I'm not pulling down brick part seats. They do the job perfectly well. But if you're after something just that, just that looks that little bit better, then. Um, if you're going for an off-roader 
a bash about truck, daily driver or something like that, then yeah, stick the, stick the brick parts in, save yourself some money, stick the brick parts in and uh, away you go. But, wow. Right, I'm sorry if I've droned on, sorry if this video has gone on for an age. Um, yeah, don't forget, like, subscribe. Uh, message me on Instagram, CSM, Retro Restorations. Um, I will be setting up a um, Facebook page at some point in the future. I've sort of got the page there, I just haven't done anything with it whatsoever. I'm not really a big fan of Facebook, but it's the way the world's going now, so I've got to do it. Right, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all soon. Bye bye.